What is going on guys, it's Waff here, welcome back to some more Jurassic World. Last time we left off, we were working on the hotel, we got it nice and grown all the way up, all the way up to there, you can see exactly how gigantic it is now. But uh, I missed an upload like two days ago, and that was because in that episode, basically all I did was make this sign, as well as, uh, I guess I also changed this door into an emerald door. This is, by the way, a carpenter's door. It's basically the same thing as like a carpenter's block. You can like color it in with whatever you want. And uh, you can also get a carpenter's hammer. Let's go grab a carpenter's hammer real quick. And let's see, uh, there it is right there. You can grab a carpenter's hammer, right click it similar to what you do over here to make these half blocks, but it just changes the way the door looks. So there's like pretty much all glass, like a glass door. There it's all wood or like all filled in, you know? <laughs> and then here's a screen door and here's like a glass door with like, a, you know, eight different little glass things. And here it just looks like two blocks. And here it is normally. I liked it personally looking like this, you know, completely normal. So I kept it like that. I got some comments saying to make it like an emerald door. So hey, hey there you go. What do you know? <laughs> Anyways, we also worked on this front desk over here. And, uh, you know, we didn't really get that much done in the last episode. That's why I didn't want to upload. It was kind of boring, in my opinion. So I'm sorry if you guys expected an episode two days ago. But uh, sometimes, sometimes these episodes don't really turn out as well as I thought. And I just like... I don't want to upload something that's pure, unadulterated garbage, you know, so hopefully you guys forgive me for that, but uh, here's the front desk, you know, the front desk has basically been just jungle wood in a, uh, in a shape, like, in like a C shape, like this for quite a while, so what we did last episode that I didn't upload, the missing episode, is uh, make this front desk, and I think it looks fantastic, so we have these little acacia wood knocks, or uh, notches, <laughs> that uh, you basically get by, let's see, acacia, uh, let's actually look. You get the little saw or whatever it's called, and you cut it in half, and you guys have already saw this, uh, if you guys saw the market episodes where we built upon that market over there. But uh, that's basically what we did over here, and then we, we put a little acacia trim around this, as well as some jungle wood here to make it look pretty cool. And this is just a regular jungle stair block with two jungle notches at the top with some... Uh, I guess acacia wood covers here on the side to make it look like a pretty cool little chair with a high back on it. So that's basically what it looks like. And uh, that's pretty much all we did last episode that I didn't upload, you know, the missing episode. I don't think I showed you guys the sign properly, but that is a sign with two emeralds on it. I kind of wanted to make it say twin emeralds, but that would have been really, really hard doing, uh, you know, with the little forged micro blocks and whatnot. Since you can only place them on like corners and stuff, you can't just place them anywhere you want, you have to actually put them like on corners and stuff, so that's basically uh, the best that I could do, making it look like two emeralds next to each other, and that's the little sign we have here, uh, we don't have any a marquee or anything saying no vacancy or anything on it, but uh, that'd be a lot harder to make as well. But anyways, I got some comments saying, uh, hey, how, how are the villagers going to go, you know, up and down the elevator if the elevator's like this, where it's on a different floor? Like, how are they going to call down the elevator? And I, I replied to the comment saying, hey, you know, it's just like a regular elevator. Just call it down to the first floor, like so. And that also, like, put a thought in my head to, to move this little, little floor marker block. Like here, you know, how on an elevator you, you hit the little up or down arrow and it's like right next to the elevator. It's not on the inside of the actual elevator itself. So we definitely need to close this bit off here. So I kind of want to go, let's see, what does it look like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's just acacia as well as the, the glass sliding door and the opening little sensor. So let's go make some more of those and put them here at the ground floor lobby. And then we'll have to grab the, uh, the elevator maintenance mode thing and then move all the floor markers to right in front of the, uh, the thing, you know, make it look a lot, make it look a lot more realistic. And now, I did have this thought of, instead of coloring it in as, like, acacia or whatever, or jungle wood, I kind of wanted to use, like, a, a command block, is this? Yeah, so you can't craft command, what was this? Oh, I think that was inside here. <laughs> you can't craft command blocks, obviously. So I was thinking, like, what if I spawn them in, because they, they kind of look like elevator things. Uh, they do have like nine little, if, I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen command blocks, but you know, I don't want to spawn in something like that. E even if it, I guess, even if it is kind of for decoration, I don't know. So, hmm, I don't know if there's anything else here in regular Minecraft that we can obtain legitimately that we could also use to make it look like an elevator call down button switch thing, you know? I don't know if there is anything. Leave a comment down below. Are you guys okay with me spawning in? like a dozen command blocks just to color in the the floor marker things 
Because if so, then uh, you know I can spawn those in without a problem. Because I don't want to spawn things in and look like a complete and utter cheater. <laughs> so there you go. What were we doing here again? <laughs> totally, oh yeah, we're going to get some acacia. And we needed some more doors. Uh, how do you make those doors again? I think it was just iron and a little bit of glass. There's one iron ingot. Let's break another iron block casually, of course. Because we don't even... We have so much iron all over the place. Do we have any extra glass? Uh, I thought we had some extra... Is there... Hmm, maybe there's more in the furnace eye. Pretty sure we had some extra glass. I don't know what happened to it. I'm pretty sure we... Yeah, I think we crafted all of the glass doors that we could have. Hmm. All right, well, let's go get ourselves a little bit more of this. Uh, take another chunk out of here. Might as well, right? <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. And I got some comments saying to fill this in with the rest of the fences, so I did that as well, so there you go. And uh, I got some comments saying to open up the roller coaster, but it is technically open. You can just come over here to the Bone Shaker, but none of the villagers seem to want to come over here, you know, so... Yeah, I guess it's just on their own whim if they want to come over here and, you know, ride the Bone Shaker, get their, get their bones a-rattling inside of them. What are you doing there, Dr. Indominus? You just inspirationally looking at Nanny Chicken over there? That little bread fish hat <laughs> Oh man, I love that hat. Anyways, let's go downstairs. Let's go throw some of the sand into the redstone furnace eye, like so. And we also have a project that we kind of started a while ago to actually get ourselves at ME terminal to store all of our items in so we don't have to use a million chests, you know? So I suppose here in a bit, we can start making that thing. And it's going to make it a million times easier to both find and store items here in the future. So 10, that should be way more than enough to get ourselves one sliding door. And I don't remember what the sensor was. What was it again? Player sensor? Uh, yeah, you need more glass and one piece of redstone. So we have enough right now. And where is Do oh, Dr. Indominus still just hanging out right there? Let's get ourselves one piece of redstone dust. And let's get that thing auto-crafted. There you go, player sensor. That's nice and made. Everything seems to be nice and made right now. And we can just head over there. Yeah, 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 we can just head over there. We have the, yeah, we have the elevator tool, elevator maintenance tool. So let's go over there and let's go modify our elevator just to make it look a little old. <laughs> just to make it look a little bit more realistic. So uh, I guess we can just break these, take them back, and then just place them down like here, you know? Now I guess what we could do, hmm, how, what would we even do here? I don't want it to look too, hmm, maybe we can, yeah, we could probably color this in with jungle instead of, Acacia, because I don't want to have too much acacia all over the place. You know, yeah, let's go get a little bit of jungle. Let's go over here real quick. Go across the river and cut down a singular jungle tree, like so. And get ourselves enough jungle to fill in the first floor elevator opening thing. <laughs> Alright, so... Now, the thing about... The thing about this elevator is that... You know, you do have to call it down to your thing first, is that... The floor markers, they're, they're just numbers, so you don't really know where the first, like, the first floor is. You have to guess, like, 69, that's the, that's the first, actually it was like 70, right? Because the, the block goes, like, right here. Hmm. Anyways, it's, it's kind of weird, you can't just name the floors their own respective, and we tried that a while ago as well, so unfortunately you can't just name the floors like you want. So there you go, this is what it looks like, and then we need to maintenance mode this thing. And I think you, there you go, maintenance mode, get that thing selected, and color that in as well. So we also, yeah, put this here, and then the player sensor goes here, there you go. And you can just select your, oh, whoops, <laughs> it's still in maintenance mode, so we can't quite, there you go. And yeah, we do need to go to each floor and grab the thing and move it over, so, hmm, that's what we're going to have to do here in a bit, but for right now, uh... Is that not? Is that not working? Hmm. It should be working, right? It's uh. Is that working? Oh, what? I colored it in. Is it still in maintenance mode? Oh, it is. Oof, I still need to get it out of maintenance mode first. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. I was wondering there, like, why is that not working? All right. So 68. That seems to be the level that we're on right now. So let's go to 77. That's going to take us to the second floor, and we can open this up. Get rid of this. Uh, oh, whoops. Maybe not right now, because we need to put it in the maintenance mode first. Whew. And, oh yeah, we need to place down... Uh, yeah, we have these torches here, so... Mm, mm, that's going to be quite trivial here in a second. But we do need to uh, add that as the elevator thing, but we need to go into maintenance mode first, so this is going to be quite, quite tricky. So, you know, what I think I'm going to do is uh, move these all on my own, and I will see you guys here in a bit, and hopefully it'll look pretty dankaroo and more realistic. 
And uh, of course, after I read you guys' comments, if you guys say to, you know, change these command blocks, I definitely will. But I'll just change them to Acacia for right now, just so they blend in with the elevator borders. So I'll see you guys here in a bit once I get these all changed out. All right, guys. So this thing is quite completely updated. Oh, yeah. I still need to put all these, uh, this green glass on this side. I haven't filled it all into the very top just yet. But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like now. So if you want to go through the elevator, you, it's not just like an open thing anymore. You have to actually come over. Actually, you know what? If, you, if it's not even here, like say, say it's on the third floor right now. You're gonna have to call it over. I don't know if we can do anything like right here. I I know if we put like blocks here, it's probably gonna collide with the actual elevator itself. So I don't know. I guess I guess until you actually call it down to your floor, it's just gonna look really weird until the actual elevator comes down like so. But yeah, there you go. It looks really really cool. I really do love this elevator now. So if we oh wow, I'm too used to that. <laughs> Let's go very to the very very top to the penthouse itself at the very very brim. Now, I don't know why it, like, does this weird, like, glitcheroo where it, like, slows down and then speeds up and then slows down and then speeds all the way up. I don't know why it does that whenever I go all the way up here. But, uh, what I want to show you guys is that I asked you guys, like, last episode that I upload whether or not the elevator should go all the way to the very roof or just here to the penthouse. And the majority of you guys commented that you wanted to just come here to the penthouse because it just makes sense. If you're paying for a penthouse room that has all this all this stuff, all the amenities, you should have exclusive roof access. And I also got a pretty cool comment to have like a like a spiral staircase. So what we should do is maybe put a spiral staircase like right here. That could go to the second floor, of course, but can also go, oh wait, <laughs> I can't fly in this thing just yet, but can also go from, you know, the first floor to the second floor where I'm at right now, but also up here to the roof access once we get that thing built. And of course, I, I saw a lot of comments saying that we should put a pool up here, which I already mentioned last episode, and I do definitely plan on putting like pools and stuff on the roof. And, you know, a little garden area, you know, umbrellas, little chairs and stuff that villagers can just sit in while they soak in the rays. But uh, this is this is basically the general outline of what I want to do here. Now, there's a lot of furnishing that I have to do for the actual penthouse and, of course, all the other rooms uh, as well, which I have to do on my own. God, I'm not used to this just yet. <laughs> I have to do that basically all on my own because I don't want to bore you guys with, you know, doing the same thing over and over again. I guess, I guess we could do furnishings for one floor on camera and then I'll just, you know, do the rest of the furnishing the same thing for every floor for the hotel except for the penthouse. Maybe we can save the penthouse for its own episode here in the future. But here we go. We're down to the, oh God, we're stuck. Oh no, let's go to the second floor. Save us. Oof, there we go. All right, second floor, take us to the first floor. There we go. All right, take us down without glitching us in the ground. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to glitch us again, so let's just stay up in the air. And there we go. Oof. Nice, safe, and sound. Hopefully there's going to be no lawsuits wherever they have as the villagers. Okay, so now we're out here in the open now. I haven't quite worked on the aquarium in a really, really long time, so we might as well go over there and work on it. Now, something I wanted to test out is, is it possible for us to... Uh, let's put all this garbage up first. It's possible for us to, you know, completely decorate the aquariums over there with all this coral and stuff that we have. Algae, coral, and cranberries, blah, 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 raw frog, seaweed, orange coral, blue coral, pink coral, and isn't there another one? Coral, seaweed? Oh, there was. Maybe I used it all. Uh, the glowing coral. Yeah, that's the purple. Yeah, I guess that's all the coral. Hmm, what do you know? Anyways, I wanted to see if it's... Oh, wait, yeah, kelp. Isn't there... There should be kelp here, right? Yeah, here it is right here, kelp. All right, so I wanted to see if we could decorate the, the the actual new tanks themselves over there, the new aquarium expansion, before actually filling up with water, just to make it a little bit easier to see what they'd look like. Now, oh, there's a, is that Colonel Sanders or Nugget? Oh, it is Nugget. Oh, look at that, we got Nugget over here. All right, so let's go over there to the, oh, Titanus is sitting. Thank you very much, game, for telling me that. Let's go over here to the aquarium expansion, which I still have not worked on since we started working on the, uh, the roller coaster over there. Let's see if we can place these down when there's no water. Okay, so it looks like we can't place them down until we have water. So I suppose, uh, yeah, we already marked this out. So right here is where the walkway goes. So right here is going to be where we need to place down the glass. So I'm going to have to fill all this in and then fill it in up with some water. And then we're going to have to, where's it go? Right here? Yeah, 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 right here. Uh, yeah, one more block. All right. And then we're going to have to come back and then decorate it before filling them up with a million more coelacanths. So what I think I'm going to do now is actually, uh, as I just said, <laughs> finish filling this up with some glass. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. And we can start decorating it 
and uh, cultivating some more coelacanths and we can start filling up with some more fish so i'll see you guys here in a bit all right unfortunately i just ran out of glass super close to this thing being completely finished literally like maybe just over a dozen pieces of glass and i think we'd be good to go but unfortunately we just ran out of glass right there anyways that kind of reminded me that uh i got some comments saying that the tylosauruses can actually jump out of their aqua oh whoops <laughs> can actually jump out of their aquarium so maybe we should get some extra glass here in the future uh, put some glass at the very top just to make sure maybe that's how that one Tylosaurus actually escaped all those episodes ago a million years ago, you know? Well, maybe not a million years. Oh, that's a real- why'd I say that? Gee. <laughs> Man, anyways, let's get ourselves more of this clear glass and then we're gonna need to go get some, like, cobblestone. Usually I use cobblestone whenever I fill this stuff up with some water. I don't think I should- I don't know if I showed you guys how I fill this stuff up with some water, uh, really, really easily. But uh, let's get ourselves some more glass. I think we might need one more round of clear glass out of the smeltery here. Just to finish that up. But we're also going to need some buckets. So there you go. Fill all these up with some bucket or, or <laughs> fill all these buckets up with some water. And uh, here we go. We have our infinite water pool. I keep on getting like comments saying that uh, this infinite water pool looks absolutely disgusting in my little lab area. But it's not supposed to look like super duper clean, amazing looking in there. So let's get ourselves a little bit more of this glass. There we go. And see how much we have right now. 25. That should be... Yeah, that's a pretty good amount, if you ask me. Hmm. 64 cobblestone isn't going to be enough to fill up the second layer so we can get that water in there. So let's get ourselves a couple more blocks, or a couple more stacks. Four stacks of cobblestone, that should be way more than enough. There we go. And grab that last five piece of glass. There you go, is that it? Uh, yep, yep, yep. Looks like we're all good to go. So let's head back over to the new aquarium expansion trying to, oh my god colonel sanders is over here just hanging he's still over here just hanging out with the other t-rexes gee <laughs> all right so let's go over here let's fill in the rest of this here and then we need to fill in a little bit of cobblestone on the second layer and then uh fill all that in and then put water at the very very top just so you guys know how i fill this thing in so basically just grab some cobblestone put it there and then just fill this whole entire thing up here at the second to the top block and i'll fill in the rest of this here on my own and I will see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, so here we go. God, this whole entire area is filled up. I've never had to fill up a whole entire, like, strip like this. I've never had to do the whole entire thing. Uh, over here, for this coelacanth thing, I just filled in half the thing, so I didn't need this much cobblestone. And then, of course, for the tire sources, I filled them in uh, one at a time, so it didn't require quite as much cobblestone as I required right now. But, oh, man, I had to go mining a little bit just with our, uh, with our hammer, just get ourselves some more water or uh, some more cobblestone for this water but anyways basically what we do is just put down some water here at the corner that's going to turn into a uh, source block and then there you go and you just keep on going uh, i think yeah yeah yeah. here we go move it over keep on moving it over and eventually you'll have the whole entire thing just filled up because water is just going to eventually like source block the whole entire thing and uh what i what i usually do is just start here at the edges just because it makes it a lot easier and then eventually you can start filling in the middle bit which will be a little bit harder for something quite as big as this you know so here we go uh you can actually fill in about two or three blocks at a time as you can see what i'm doing right now so i'm not quite doing each and every block individually like right there i just did a little bit too much and there we go that's nice and filled in so basically i'm just gonna continue doing this all around here and hopefully it'll be nice and filled in and then we'll be able to start decorating this area with some of that kelp and coral and stuff like that so i'll just fill in the rest of this with some water and i'll see you guys here in a bit and then of course whenever you're completely filled in all you have to do is just whip out your amazing hammer and break all these what you don't want to do is go inside the water and try and break it with a hammer because if you try and do that then it's going to take like a million more years because you know you're inside of water so stuff is going to break a lot unless you have uh what's it called uh i forgot what the enchantment's called but if you have one of those enchantments then you're able to break stuff underwater without it being a problem oh look at that look at that we have a spider that spawned under there Whew. hopefully we don't have to mur worry about that actually and what oh let's get our rail gun oh let's get our power fist there we go and let's see is this oh it's at the rail gun let's kill that spitter Oh, let's get it. Oh, we got it. Nice. Nice. And are the T-Rexes for... Oh, yeah. The T-Rexes don't even care. Ho, ho, ho. I guess it's because the spider didn't actually do any damage on me. Oh, nice. Man, that railgun is so cool when we do get to use it. Man. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to break the rest of this here cobblestone. And uh, we can go retrieve all the cobblestone at the very bottom. 
whenever we uh whenever i'm done but uh yeah i'm just going to break the rest of this cobblestone and then we can start decorating the bottom of this here new coelacanth expansion so i'll see you guys here in a bit all right guys my frame rate is starting to take a hit with all this cobblestone just hanging out here at the very bottom of this new coelacanth expansion let's go down here real quick and let's try to retrieve all this cobblestone. Man, this thing is starting to lag out my game, making it a little bit more laggy. Oof, which I usually don't see because I have a pretty good computer after all. Anyways, oh, is drowning? Oh, okay, I thought I thought drowning would like make my T-Rex is like super sour for some reason. Anyways, I'm going to collect the rest of this cobblestone and we can start decorating this thing. Oh yeah, I need to go get myself some more uh, glowstone as well. We might have to go take a quick trip to the nether if we want to do that, but uh, I'm going to collect the rest of this cobblestone here on my own without drowning. Oh, oof. and I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, so I tried my best. I tried to get all the cobblestone. I didn't quite get all of it, but my inventory got full, so I grabbed as much as I could. So, you know, if we do have more Coelacanth expansions in the future, hopefully we'll have at least close to enough to fill it all up to the brim and get it all nice and filled up with some water. But it is looking fantastic right now. It's all nice and filled up with some water. And we can just put up all the cobblestone up inside of here. Yeah, there we go. Oof. Man, that is an absolute ton. Anyways, uh, how much glowstone do I, I know we have to use some glow. Yeah, we have enough for like a block. <laughs> just a singular block of glowstone. So I think we're going to have to go to the nether here. And go on a nice little nether event. Like, we haven't gone to the nether in quite a long time, so... You know, it's not that bad of an idea to just go to the nether, just hang out, maybe see some of the friends that we've made over there, you know, the Pikmin friends, <laughs> and uh, try and try and get ourselves some more glow. Hey, how's it going, Dr. Indominus? How you doing? How you doing? I'm just going to uh, prepare for my nether trip here in a bit. Uh, sit it. Uh. So you're going to have to, you're going to be the man of the house right now. That's right. All right. Well, you're going to be the man of the house here, Dr. Indominus himself. So let's just put up all the garbage that we don't need. Water, I guess we can keep it. Elevator tool, we need to put that somewhere. Oof. I don't know where. Up here, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, let's go down into the nether. Uh, You know, uh, there was an upgrade. What was it called? It was for the power fist that, like, places down lights and stuff. Maybe we can get that. That's going to make it a little bit easier. Mainly assist energy, movement. That's not it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Aqua affinity. That's the thing that we wanted to break things under. What is that it right there? Lux capacitor. Ooh, that's nothing. Two iron and a little bit of glow. Yeah, we have the glowstone. Ooh, let's do it. One piece of glowstone and two iron to get that Lux Capacitor upgrade for our Power Fist. So let's grab that and let's upgrade our Power Fist real quick. There we go. Install. Oh, wait. Uh, There it is right there. Lux Capacitor. All right. So what color do we want? Nah, nah I, I like the default color. So how do we, how do we change? There we go. And then we do a little bit of that. Oh, that looks fantastic. And I guess it's like unlimited too, or it like takes energy to shoot them out. I don't know. 